Yeah, the F-111 is just a magnificent aircraft. Uh, you know, I first flew it 20, 22 years ago as a young fella and, uh, you know, I've done lots of hours in it and it's certainly in my blood as it is in lots of people. You know, it, it touches you to just be part of the F-111 community, whether you're flying it or uh, maintaining or supporting it, you know, is great. The people you see behind me now have immense pride in the aircraft. The airframe itself is just phenomenal for its design. You know, it's fast, it's actually manoeuvrable, um, it carries a lot of fuel, you can make that last a long time. The engines, for example, you can be burning uh, 200 litres every six seconds, so an old 44 gallon drum every six seconds and flat out, or you can make that fuel last uh, you know, six hours on a transit, the same range as a 737 or a C-130. Uh, it's incredibly smooth in the air, it's a big aircraft with uh, big wings, uh, very, very stable platform. We can be doing you know, supersonic low level at 100 feet above the ground, doing four football fields a second, and it's, uh, it's a very, very stable ride, which is great for what the aim of that aircraft is, is to run in and hit targets at high speed uh, and uh, get back to uh, safe lands as fast as you can. The F-111 was an aircraft ahead of its time in the 60s. It had a lot of firsts. Uh, it was the, uh, one of the first uh, variable sweep wing, which gives it enormous speed range. Uh, it was the first turbofan afterburning engines. They so had very high efficiency engines at the time, uh, with the ability to have afterburner for uh, you know a high top end speed.